Do you have an inquiring mind? Do you want to study for a master's in sociology at the topmost level? Are you considering studying internationally? Then apply for a place on the master program Sociology and Social Research at Utrecht. I love the city. It's a student city. It's between a city and a village. So it's, it's not too crowded, not too big, but you have everything you search for. Utrecht is a medieval city with a modern university. Students from all over the world come to the university's renowned sociology department to take their research masters in sociology and social research. 50% of the students is Dutch and 50% is from another country. And in my class there were, was a girl from Israel, there was a girl from Taiwan. Dutch society is the very definition of multicultural. The country is small and densely populated and therefore something of a laboratory for studying various social issues. We work with real social problems, with real social questions, and sort of explore them and try to answer them ourselves. Only a small number of students is selected for the Sociology Research Master degree. But once you've been accepted, the course has a lot to offer. So this is where I graduated. There have been many important things here and your own graduation ceremony is one of them, which, which is, think, I think, really nice. You can actually study and doing research on every topic you are becoming interested in. You get the tools to do that, to, be, to become a researcher, therefore it's so broad. Every social problem can be studied by one of our students. Uh, I study social mobility, uh, mainly intergenerational social mobility. This is a special field, uh, how to research how people uh, inherit or achieve something in their life. In my master's thesis I'm going to look at the division of paid and unpaid labour in same-sex couples. Uh, and then in international contexts. My uh, topic for my master thesis is um, youth fashion styles and social resources. So it's fashion sociology. I examined to what extent couples with a different ethnic background uh, are more likely to divorce than couples uh, with the same ethnic background. In the first year, students select their topic and they read a lot and they write a review paper, which is the basis for the thesis, for the master thesis in the end. We have to review work as well, not just believe everything you read, but also always have a very critical mind about what you read uh, and make up your own mind. The really, really critical thinking <laughs> when you read a paper, I think that's the most important yeah. thing that you learned from this master program. In the, the second year, the mini conference takes place and it's a conference totally organized by students and we are invited as teachers and they present their review paper. So, and they give comments to each other and it's a, it's, it's a very inspiring event and it's also a social event and it's very nice. Let's go to the question now. Who wears what and why? This seems like a very simple and straightforward question. Everything what, what's happening in society is actually due to some kind of social process and our students can study and understand these social processes. And there is little known about the uh, romantic relationship of prisoners and especially the change over time during and after imprisonment. So you can pick out one topic that you really like and that's for me it's criminology but maybe for someone else it's uh, divorce and maybe for someone else it's experiments so there you can choose your own topic within this master and I think the most impressive thing is that we have lecturers that really know uh, what they talk about they are really top specialists in their fields all teachers are passionate researchers and if you join, if students who join our master, they are actually treated as young colleagues. They are no students anymore. Here in Utrecht, even masters, they start to do their own scientific research. And they, they end up with a real article that is going to be published. The studies are really demanding, so you have to be prepared to work really hard. I think I lived in library for, for weeks. But 
it's all worth it because I think in the last year I really learned more than I learned in all my bachelors. Actually, I'm leaving tomorrow for my internship. Um, I'm going to Stanford in the US, which I'm really looking forward to. It's encouraged that you go for a while to another institute. So I'm going to Stanford to see what they are doing and to see if I can get some feedback on the work that I'm doing now already and uh, see how I can improve my work.